Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any Rocket League items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. In this series, I'm trading from nothing all the way up to the alpha cap, and this is episode 34. Just before we get into the trades, I'd like to mention I'm giving away a white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. All you need to do to enter is drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and finally head over to my Discord server. The link is in the description down below. I've also got a second channel where I'll be posting extra content and highlights from the main channel. Again, the link to this channel is in the description down below, and I'm also giving away 50 credits for every subscriber I get on there so every 100 subs I'm giving away an additional 5,000 credits. But anyway enough waffling and let's get straight into the first trade of episode 34. Okay so we're gonna be hopping straight into the first trade of the video and oh my god I still have loads of low demand painted black markets that are not moving anywhere and I really want to get them gone in this episode but it's just so hard to shift them literally nobody wants them. I'm starting to think I made a little bit of a mistake when buying them but I'm actually gonna be selling on my white zombies in the first trade for two thousand credits is only the minimum value but it's a little bit of easy profit i believe 100 credits profit from the item i'm not going to say no to uh, because right now those are the only trades i can complete because i can't shift any of these painted black markets whatsoever and because i can't actually sell them i have two things that i can do and that is either sell my crimson standard and tidal stream or work on getting some more items into the inventory so i have a little bit more material to work with and i'm buying a crimson sparkles here for 2120 at the time it was 2.4k minimum value so underpaying by a little under 300 credits below the minimum value and I'm hoping that the scorer certification is going to add a little bit to the price it's not the best certification in the game so it's not going to add too much if it was striker uh, I'll, I'll be getting bank but unfortunately it isn't I might try and get another 100 200 credits from the item I don't actually know what scorer adds to an item like sparkles but yeah I'm going to be trying to go for around 2.6k and I'm also buying another standard into the inventory again just so I have a little bit more material to work with because yeah those black markets the entire top row is not going anywhere whatsoever and this is the first time I've bought a painted octane in quite a while I believe I might have bought one in the last episode I don't know but this is the first time I've at least had a lime octane in quite a while and I'm paying 300 credits it's very easy to sell I'm going to be going for 450 credits I might have to drop down to 400 credits I haven't really traded with an octane like lime in quite a while so yeah hopefully I'll be able to sell that for the minimum value pretty quickly and I'm also getting rid of my tie stream here for the minimum value and again this guy is in quite a few videos he's always buying a lot of my items and I'm not going to complain because he also has some very good prices as you can see I'm getting the minimum value for a tidal stream which isn't the easiest item to sell so I'm not going to say no to that whatsoever that's some more credits in the inventory and I'm also going to be selling him my lime octane as well which helps me because the same guy buying more than one item that's obviously going to save me quite a bit of time I won't have to find separate buyers for certain items so yeah this would definitely help me out even though it is high demand and would have sold really quickly anyway it's going to save me time nonetheless and just as a quick update the inventory is currently almost valued 95,000 credits which is incredible I don't know where that profit has come from recently I'm not going to complain but it just feels like we've gone from 70 to 80 to 90k uh, extremely quickly but yeah as I said I'm not going to complain and I'm also going to be selling on my crimson sparkles here for 2.6k which at the time was the maximum value it has actually gone up since which uh, it's not too much of a problem that probably would have only been like an extra 100 credits but 100 credits is 100 credits so I did miss out a little bit but we've just got to move on can't really reflect on the past like that and uh, yeah I really want to get rid of those black markets as you can see we're a little bit of a way into this video already and none of those black markets have sold whatsoever and I have spent a lot of time trying to get them sold you guys can't see how much time I've spent but it's probably been about three hours was working on trying to get some of those items sold and uh, the, uh, I've mainly been focusing on trying to sell that Cobalt Jewel in Dragons because in my opinion that's probably the easiest uh, black market to sell in my inventory right now and still nobody wants that so I can't imagine how long it's going to take to sell other items such as that Lime Encryption or the Shade Raids and yeah I I've spent a lot of time trying to sell the Shade Raids as well they're not shifting so may have dug myself into a little bit of a hole here but we're just doing a pretty simple trade clearing off that Sky Blue Standard and uh, yeah I I've sort of got to buy some more 
more items back into the inventory because, uh, as I said, countless times already, nothing is happening with those black markets whatsoever. But don't let this put you off buying and selling low demand painted black markets because it has got me a lot of profit so far. And I do always say they're very low demand. It will take a very long time for them to clear out my inventory. And this is a perfect example if you're looking to replicate this method of buying and selling items such as Jewel and Dragons, Phoenix Cannon, Shade Raid, Hex Tide Encryption, all painted of course, then you will need to have quite a bit of patience. It will take a lot of time, but eventually you should be able to find a little bit of profit. And just for a little bit of an insight as well, I believe I paid roughly half the minimum value for a lot of these items. So the Sky Blue Shade Raid, I should have paid roughly 650 credits. The Crimson Shade Raid, I should have paid roughly 800 credits. So I can make a, a massive amount of profit. That is why I bought them. It will take time to sell, but right now, nobody's interested, which is a little bit of an L. I did sell some in the last episode, which, uh, which was good, but yeah, this episode is not looking as good, and I've also just bought some black stones into the inventory. Uh, I, again, I love trading with black stones and black OEMs because they're so much easier to sell now than they were a few weeks or months ago, and I can make a ton of profit, and as you saw, I paid 600 credits for those black stones, and I should be able to find the minimum value of 800 credits. That'll be 300 credits profit, and black OEM, I'm paying 800, which is 300 credits below the minimum value. Again, that should be 300 credits profit. So when I do sell both of those items, I should make 500 credits profit off black OEMs and Blackstone, which I think is pretty good. I'm also going to be buying an unpainted Interstellar for 150 credits below the minimum value on Xbox. I was surprised I was able to get this this cheap because it's very easy to sell. I'd, I'd go as far as saying it's probably one of the easiest items to sell in the entire game. So yeah, that should be gone very, very quickly. And and, and as saying that, I've actually sold it in the next trade and I believe I'll be getting the minimum value. Yep, 800 credits. I didn't even know. I, I couldn't remember remember rather that that was actually the next trade but that just proves it is one of the easiest items to sell because yeah I've sold it uh, straight after buying it and that is another 150 credits profit into the inventory and you may have noticed that most of this video has just been buying and selling high demand items so we've had a lot of painted standards black OEM black stern the interstellar you just saw as well there's been a lot of standards actually but I'm also buying another black stern into the inventory for 600 credits and hopefully I should start to sell some of those black markets soon because they are annoying me. I know I have said countless times it does take time, but I'm not a very patient person and they are definitely annoying me. So hopefully they will start to clear out very, very soon. But for now, I'm just going to be working with high demand items and I'm flipping that black stone pretty much instantly and I'm going to be getting 800 credits, which again is the minimum value, but that is 200 credits profit, which is pretty good compared to items such as standards where I'm usually making 100 credits profit each time. That's why I love trading with these items because they're fairly high demand and they also get me a really, really really good amount of profit. And I promise I will try and switch up the items I'm buying in the next episode because I can't lie to you, this one has been a little bit bland. Um, Yeah, it's not too great. I'm also buying another black OEM. Again, we've already bought that uh, in this episode. So it's nothing new and that is something I want to improve. I want to make the content better for you guys because obviously I'm, I'm trying to make profit, but I'm also trying to make entertaining content. So this is probably a perfect trade. We're going to be buying a forest green dicey for 400 credits below the minimum value. Last time I bought this, it was exotic. It was a couple episodes ago, I believe. I think I bought and sold it in the same episode and actually made 500 credits profit. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit cheaper, so I can only really make 400 credits profit. But again, I should be able to sell this relatively quickly, at least compared to those painted black markers. And that should be another 400 credits profit. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I also did mention at the start of the video, I'm giving away a white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel so make sure to subscribe if you want to be in with the chance of winning yourself a white octane for free but anyway as always let's go for 100 likes on this video comment alpha cap if you made it this far and i'll see you in the next episode peace out